Hey guys, Simcolor here and today we are going to make our app a bit better and user friendly. So right now as it stands, uh, from the moment a driver logs in, he is automatically uh, displayed as available on our database. And the problem is uh, he cannot get out of that activity, the map activity, driver map activity, otherwise um, the app will, s will stop uh, sending updates to the database. And I can show you uh, right here. So let's go ahead and uh, log in as a driver. Okay. And as you can see, it starts uh, sending updates. But the problem is that if we either get out of the app by clicking the home button or go to the settings activity, for example, it will stop sending updates. Okay, uh, and that's not what we want. We, we, we want the user to be able to be always working as long as the app is on. And he may get out of the app to launch Google Maps or whatever and get back and he's still working and uh, everything is working just fine. So to fix this, we are going to place a switch button right in here. And as long as the switch button is on and the app uh, isn't killed, so it may be in background, but it, it will be still working. And uh, as long as that's on, the switch button, it, the, the updates will be, be still coming and everything will, would run just fine. So yeah, let's get right into it and go into our Android uh, projects. So uh, let me just grab one thing, okay. So the first thing that we need is to go inside the activity driver map and in here we are going to make some changes. So um, the first of which will be to place these buttons inside the linear layout. And this is just so that we can keep tabs on everything and make everything uh, look uh, nice. Okay. Uh, actually, we don't need that. Let's just move those inside the activity uh, in the linear layout. And as you can see, they uh, don't show up anymore. And that's because we m must move the fragments on top of the buttons at this point, and they'll show just fine. Okay, and now we'll create a second one in order to place the, um, the switch below these two buttons. And you'll understand why we need this in a second. So let's just place this inside here and set the orientation to vertical. And I guess you are starting to figure out why we need it. I'm just going to set the weight to one in each and every single one of them. And now below this, so you have this main li linear layout, then this uh, linear layout and below this we'll place the switch and because it is set to vertical it will appear right here so let's go switch wrap content wrap content we'll set the text to working uh, set the margin to 10 just to make it look a bit better and the id id to uh, working switch okay so this will be the, our layout and now let's uh, import this uh, object inside the driver map activity so driver map activity let's scroll up and I'm going to place this below the buttons because it is a group it is all in the same place so switch and my working switch and let's import the switch alt enter enter and now let's just let me grab that and place it here okay working switch switch okay so now uh, we'll use a, a listener that uh, isn't on, only for switches but uh, all you can use them the this listener for that which is a set on check change listener so this listener will be as the name say, says a listening for changes in the check sta status so if the switch is on 
this will be called. It's turned on, it, this will be called. And if it is turned off, it will be called again, uh, giving us the current state of the switch. So uncheck change listener. And now we must do something different because normally we'll do uncheck change listener and it will create everything. But no, we need to have a compound button dot uncheck change listener. And this boolean is checked is what tells us if it is uh, activated or not. So let's say if it's checked, then uh, we'll uh, activate the location services and request location updates. Else, we'll disconnect the driver, which we already have a function for this. Okay, so now all that's left is to connect the driver. And to do that, let's go down below to unconnect connected or connect uh, unconnected uh, function and we'll grab this code and leave everything else and let's create a, a function here just to make everything look nice void con connect driver and paste the, co the code inside there okay so on this connect driver, it automatically removes the location updates and removes the user from the drivers available at any specific time. And um, we'll also have to do the same for the... Um, okay, but we'll do it later. For now, it is just to get everything working and we'll go under the assumption that if a driver is working, he won't just bail out. But yeah, for now it is uh, more than enough. So just grab the name, connected, uh, connect driver, go up top and is checked, just call that function. Okay, and uh, now it is working, but with one minor problem. And let me launch the app and I'll show you where it is. And the fix is really simple, so no worries there, but let me just show it. And at the same time, I'm going to open up the Firebase database and it is still loading. Give it just a second and I'll get back to you when it is finished. Okay, so the app has loaded and let's go into I'm a driver. I have that user logged in and as you can see, uh, nothing is uh, finding anything unless we click on the working toggle switch in this case. So let's click it and it starts sending everything to the database and if we uh, remove it then it will delete it from the drivers available so the problem as I was saying uh, lies with uh, destroying the activity so right now as you can see when we rem remove it it uh, get out um, still is there so in order to to fix this we just remove the method that uh, we placed which is on stop so right now, when we stop the application, it won't... Uh, uh, when we get out of the application clicking the on button, it will stay there. So let me just show you. Okay, so it loaded. And let's go into I'm a driver. Click working. And click... Uh, let me just wait. Okay. And click the on button. And as you can see, it stays there. Now the problem lies with killing the application. So if we kill we want this to be removed but that doesn't happen because we as you can see it stays there and that's because we aren't removing the, any data from the database at the moment of killing the app and so that's what we are going to take care of next and uh, we are going to use a service for that uh, a service is basically something that's called uh, upon this specific service at least is called upon uh, any time the app itself the whole app, not just an activity, is killed. And okay, we can achieve this by creating, first of all, um, an, a Java class, and we'll call it uh, on app killed, just to make it uh, a simple name. Okay, you can update it to the data, the, the git. And now we'll just extend service, extend service, 
not pull tools class, just service imports that. Service, service, I believe it's this one. Let me just check. Implement methods. No, it's not this one, it's the other. So below that, the prov provider. Huh. Okay. It must be the first one, so. It is this one, okay. So, yeah, it is this one, I'm sorry about that. So, you create implement the, met the method on bind, but we don't need this one. The only one that we do need is on task removed. And this will be called upon, as I've said, at the moment of killing an app completely. And at that moment, all we need to do is to grab the disconnect driver, and we can grab the code itself, so let's grab this going to on app killed and just copy and paste that and there we go so yeah and we don't need to remove the location uh, updates because at the moment when you kill an app they are removed immediately and the app is completely stopped so yeah now uh, all that's left is to call this class which we can do in the main activity and we have to in the main activity so there's no problem because as you may notice uh, this will work either for the customer or the driver both of them it, uh, it doesn't distinguish between the two but because we are removing so if the customer doesn't exist then it doesn't make any difference because you'll try just try to remove something that doesn't, doesn't exist and so it won't do anything so now go in here and say start service new intent main activity dot this and this is this is just as an intent as we do to remove uh, change uh, activities and uh, then the on app killed dot class and that's it and now all that's left is to go inside manifest and to actually add the service so we go in the application tab, say service on app killed and Android stop with task false. Remember to close that and now uh, let's run the code and see if everything checks out. So the app so the app is working, just going to I'm a driver, set it to working, and now we are going to get out of the app and kill the app. Oops. And as you can see, it is being removed and everything is working just fine. So yeah, it is doing exactly what we need. So now when we, we are using the app, we can as in the moment that we set it to working, we can do whatever we want. You can go inside the, the settings and it won't stop updating. As you can see right here, we can move around, we can get out of here, scroll, nothing happens. Just at the moment of uh, killing the app is when it stops and it is doing just that. So yeah. Uh, thank you all very much for watching please remember to leave a like subscribe and donate if you can uh, we are getting up there and soon enough I'll be able to to get a PC to make better videos and put, push them out uh, faster than ever so yeah thank again thank you all very much for watching I hope you are having an, a wonderful day and I hope to see you again tomorrow ciao